and welcome to How To Mondays with Cody. Um, today we're going to be making a little beer. Um, so you can make this with the materials that you find around your house. Um, and the reason why we're gonna make a beer today is when I've been going out for walks, I've been seeing lots and lots of beers in people's windows. Um, so you might have a beer in your window at home. You might wanna add one of your own. Or you might not have a beer and you think you'd really like to make one for your window. So this is what we're gonna do, and this is my beer that I made, and so now we're gonna go step by step and learn how to make this together. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is your template. So you can draw this yourself, and remember it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a template, and it doesn't have to be a beer. So you can do whatever you want, you can make a dog, a puppy, a bunny, anything you like, okay? And then you need your fabric. So I've got here, I've got some pink felt, just some scrap felt that I had, lying around and then some plain blue fabric. So you can use anything you like, any color. Um, and also it doesn't have to be fabric um, that's used for sewing purposes or crafts purposes. You could also use maybe an old t-shirt you've grown out of, a pillowcase, a sheet that is ripped that you don't need anymore, but make sure you ask your family first before using anything around the house. Um, what I've done is I have found an old pillow and the stuffing's coming out and we're not going to use it So I'm going to use that to stuff the beer All right, and then what I've got over here. I've got a needle and thread So you can learn how to sew if you don't already know how so there might be somebody in your house who could teach you or You can find lots and lots of videos online like on YouTube that could show you how to just do a simple stitch um, if you can't do that you could use a hot glue gun to sew around to um, seal the edges. Um, and I've also got scissors and a pencil. Super easy. The first thing you want to do is you want to get your beer template or your stuffed animal template and just start drawing around on the fabric with the pencil. So remember, again, this does not have to be perfect. Okay, we're just doing a rough outline so we know where to cut the fabric. All right, and then the second thing you want to do is you just want to start cutting out that beer template. So you're going to need the same template, just like this, the same one twice. So that's the front and the back of your beer. Alright, so now you've got your front of the beer and the back of the beer, doesn't matter which is which, but choose which one is going to be the front of your beer because we're going to start with sewing or gluing the details onto the front of the beer. So now we can reuse our beer um, template just to cut out the little details. So you can have different details depending on what animal um, you are doing. So you can have some uh, scales, some little paws, whatever you've got. You just want to start cutting out those details. And if you don't have any details, that's fine. You can also use a felt tip pen or a vivid to draw your design or your details onto the fabric. But I'm making a little template. I'm making little templates for the belly, the nose, and the ears. All right, so we've got the little details all cut out now, just from the piece of fabric. Um, and then the next step is to either hot glue them on, um, or to sew them on. So when you're adding little details on to your beer or your stuffed toy, just make sure that you're being really safe because whether you're sewing or you're using a hot glue gun, there's a few safety things you need to be aware of. So if you are using a needle, just know that the edge is sharp. If you need an adult's help, don't be afraid to ask for it. Um, and also if you are using a hot glue gun, obviously that glue can get quite hot. All right, so always be careful. Okay, know where your tools are, so know where your needle is, know where it's coming out, and also um, just being really careful with that hot glue gun, not letting it lay down on its side, and making sure that you're not touching the glue when it is still hot. Okay, leave it to cool down first. All right, so now you can just feel free to use your marker pen to draw on any little details you like. So I'm just using the marker pen to draw on his eyes and his mouth and his little nose there. And you can do whatever you like. So remember, this is your bear or your little soft toy and they don't have to be perfect. This is a one of a kind creation. All right, so now what we've got is we've just got our back side of our beer and our front side of our beer and the next step is to stick them together. So if you're using your hot glue gun, that's how you'll do it, just around the sides. And remember, what we need to do is we just need to leave a little gap on the side of your beer so you can put the stuffing in. Alright, so now that you've got the beer, two sides of the beer together and we've left that little gap, 
um, right on the side there, we can start stuffing our beer. So remember, I'm just using some old stuffing from a pillow um, that we're not going to be using anymore. You can do the same thing at home, just make sure that you always ask for permission first. Alright, so now our beer is stuffed. Remember, we don't want to overdo this because it could make it really hard to um, sew together or you might have a little bit of stuffing coming out the sides which we don't really want. Um, so once you've done, you can just sew or hot glue gun, whatever you're doing at home, this, that little last bit there. Alright, and there you have it, your own little beer. I hope you've enjoyed making your beer at home with me. Um, and now you can go pop it on your window and join in the beer hunt. See you next time. Bye.